Hi guys. Okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and we're going to multiply 2 by 2 digits with a different way. So again, it is not a traditional way to multiply them because what we'll be doing is to multiply them by base 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, so I'm going to apply it in my first example. Okay, so 17 times 11. Okay, so first, we're going to identify the tenth digit of every factor, which is 1. Since 1 is in the tenth digit, we're going to write it 10. Okay, so what we're going to do is to multiply 10 and 10, so it will become 100. Okay, then what we're going to do Next is 17 minus 10 and 11 minus 10. The purpose is we're going to place some digits. That's why, why we use this as one of the next steps. So 17 minus 10 is 7, while 11 minus 10 is 1. Okay, so what we're going to do first is Add 7 and 1, which is 8. Then we're going to multiply with the common tenth digit, which is 1. So the product will be 8. So we're going to place 8 in the tenth digit. Then what we're going to do next is to multiply 7 with 1 for the ones digit. Now, adding all together, so it will become 187. A while ago, why did we multiply 10 and 10? It is for the hundreds digit. Okay, so the answer is 187. Now, we're going to proceed to the example involving 20s. So 25 times 22. Then again, our first step is to identify the tens digit. So our tens digit is 2. So shall I write 20 times 20, which is meant for the hundreds digit. So 2 times 2 is 4. Then we're going to add two zeros right away. Then our next step is 25 minus 20 which is 5, then 22 minus 20, which is 2. Our first step is we're going to add 5 and 2, which is 7. Then we're going to multiply it with 2, which is 14. We're going to place it in the tens digits. Then our next step is we're going to multiply 5 times 2, which is 10. So the product is 10. Okay, so we place it in the units digit. So now, we're going to add them all. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Then 4 plus 1 again is 5. So the answer is 550. Now, shall we move to the 30s? So 34 times 33. Again, um, what is the tens digit? It is 3. Okay. So since 3 is the tens digit, we're going to write 30 times 30 for the hundreds digit, which is 900. Why? Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then we're going to add two zeros right away. So now, what we're going to do next is we're going to subtract 34 minus 30, which is 4. Then 33 minus 30, which is 3. 
So what we're going to do for the tenth digit is four plus three, which is seven. Then now we're going to multiply it with three because three is the common tenth digit. So the product is 21. So we're going to add it with 21. However, we'll place it in the tenth digit. Then what we're going to do next is 4 times 3 for the units digit, which is 12. So we're going to add it with 12, placing it in the units digit. So now, adding these numbers, our product is 1,122. Okay, so now we're going to move to the example involving 40s. So now, what is the tenth digit once again? This is 4. So since 4 is in the tenth digit, we're going to multiply 40 times 40. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Then we're going to add two zeros right away. Then what are we going to do next is 46 minus 40 is 6. And 40 minus 40 is 0. So what we're going to do is 6 plus 0, which is 6. Then we're going to multiply by 4, which is 24. So we're going to place it in the tens digit. Then what we're going to do next is 6 times 0, which is 0. So we're going to place 0 in the ones digit. So our answer is 1,840. So, so that's how we find the product. And last but not the least, which is the example involving 50s? Okay, so what is the tens digit? Which is 5. Since 5 is in the tens digit, we're going to write 50 times 50. So what is the product? So 5 times 5 is 25. Then we're going to add two zeros right away. So what we're going to do next is we're going to subtract 58 with 50, which is 8, while 59 minus 50, which is 9. So what we're going to do next is 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. Then we're going to multiply it with 5. So 7 times 5, which is 5. However, the tenth digit is 3. That's why 7 times 5 is 35. However, we're going to multiply 1 with 5, which is 5. So we're going to add them together. So the product is 85. So we're going to place 85 in the middle. Then what we're going to do next is 8 times 9 for the ones digit is 72. Then what we're going to do is to add them all. So our answer is 3,422. So thank you guys. Happy learning. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So thank you and God bless.